So calling all budding young Cornwall composers, songwriters and musical creatives, we have something for you. I am going to hear now from Steve Hawker, Music L Project Manager. Well, it says Music EL, but I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Steve, is it Music L, Music EL? How would you say it? However you'd like to, Julie. It, the <laughs> EL stands for e-learning. Brilliant. So before we get on to this opportunity to record in a professional studio, which is amazing, just tell us a bit about Music L or EL. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, well, it's really been born out of the pandemic and the way that um, a lot of young people had to cancel their music lessons and not being able to work in school. So there's been a lot of um, missed opportunities. So what we thought was is going to be worth setting up a way to do online learning um, and also to combine that so that people who are learning in person can also have some online resources to be able to help their learning. So a bit like we're talking with, with Office Life, a hybrid future. Yes, or blended learning, as they call it. As they would, they, they like a buzzword in education. They do. <laughs> For those p- people not familiar with the Cornwall Music Service Trust, just give us a bit of background. Yes, well, we've been around for about six years now, um, and we've got 100 teachers, and we teach in 80% of schools in Cornwall for uh, vocal stuff, instrumental stuff. There's some bands and ensembles, uh, orchestras and choirs, so there's all sorts going on. What's the musical range? I tend to think of it as more classical, but tell us the gamut you deal with. Yeah, sure. I mean, we do have people who teach classical music, but there's a, a lot of young people who are into you know, learning band-based instruments as well. So we have plenty of teachers for guitar and drums and singing. Uh, so, yeah, it covers the whole range. And I guess when people are really young, uh, they just want to be stimulated and find something interesting and creative to do. What do people tend to want to learn now, music instrument-wise? Is there a trend? Well, I don't know if there's a trend, but um, like I say, it's, it depends a lot on what people listen to. So I guess people want to play the kind of stuff they like listening to, mm. um, whether it's pop or rock or electronic music. Um, there's, you know, there's a whole range of more classical stuff in film music as well. So people are inspired in all sorts of different genres. So this opportunity then to actually have your own piece of music recorded in a professional studio, that's the kind yes. of top prize being offered um, in this musically creative challenge. Um, give us a few details of what people have to do, what you're looking for them to submit to you. Sure, yes. Well, we thought we'd do something inspired by nature. So um, we've got some videos um, available which you can use as inspiration to write music to. Um, so it could be on the themes of you know, the sea or the woodlands. Um, so it can be for any age, um, uh, up to uh, and including 18. So if you're 18 or under, um, however young you are, uh, you know, we'd love to hear what you're up to. So I guess uh, the, the way to join is to um, go to musicel.org and um, down on the front page you'll see a link to our challenge. And it could be it could be just somebody with a recorder, or it could be something more elaborate, or it could be electronic. It could, yes. And we've got lots of um, uh, different styles of music that uh, that people are interested in, and it's open to all of them. Uh, so it could be your band, um, you know, if you, if you want to write an original with your band. It could be just a beginner who might only know five notes but really want to do something with them <laughs> on their <laughs> instrument. Or it could be singer-songwriters, or you might want to write for your school choir. Um, How you- so, yeah. I was going to say, how young is young? In the, how, how old do you have to be to qualify, or young do you have to be? Well, it really doesn't matter, but I guess uh, if, you, if you're in primary school um, and you know, you're learning an instrument, then that's, that's fine. Yeah, and you, I think you've got until June the 30th, haven't you, to get your entries that's in, right. and then who's got the really tough job of trying to find the winner? Ah, well, we're getting a panel together, so we're going to have uh, people with different instruments and musical genres to have a, have a listen. And uh, we'll also have some runners up as well. So everyone um, who's chosen will be getting the chance to have their music showcased um, and we can, you know, professionally record in the studio for the winner. But for other people, we can also get their music um, professionally kind of put together with the video that they've chosen. uh, And then we can put it on our social media and website. Well, that sounds fantastic. Can we play the winner? Will you send it to us when it's when it's chosen? Oh, that'd be great, Julie. Yeah, it'd be really nice to, to hear what comes out on top. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to take quite a while to go through all the entries that you're going to have and listen to them and then debate which is, you know, which is the top one. So yeah. it's musicel.org and That's you've got right. to get it in by June the 30th. Are people going to be judged on kind of the quality of the piece that they've written or is it about the performance too? 
No, it's just about the quality of the music they've written. And uh, it doesn't matter, you know, how well it's recorded either. You can just record it on your mobile phone. Um, so it's, it's the creative work we're after. OK, OK. And just, you know, how difficult has it been during lockdown, keeping this all, you know, all the balls in the air? Because I w- music teaching, I would have thought face to face is just so much easier because you can see what people are doing and how their fingers are moving if it's a stringed instrument. Indeed, it is. But that's where people have to, uh, the teachers have to get creative as well. So we've been doing um, online work as well. But I guess it's finding other ways to stimulate and um, support people when they're learning. So that's where um, Music Hell has has come in as as a way to say, well, let's get some resources and, and, um, you know, help and support to, to do your music, even if you're not able to. And I guess in Cornwall as well. There's a lot of people who are a bit more rurally isolated. Mm, yeah. So if you wanted yeah. to learn bassoon, um, there may not be that many bassoon teachers around. And so there's other ways to access things and keep the music playing. Well, I'm very envious of them. I was the kid in school who was just given the triangle because that was all I could be trusted <laughs> with. <laughs> Steve, thank you very much for spending some of your bank holiday afternoon with us. Hope you get lots of entries. Thank you, Julie. Take care. Bye-bye. And do, do Bye. send us the song when you've chosen it. Will do. Take care, look after yourself. Steve Hawker there. The Music L, E-L, I should say, Music L. Anyway, it's music with E-L after it. Musicel.org if you would like to find out more about that competition and generally what's on offer on the website.